So today was the first day I was able to run double digits without my leg hurting. My legs actually been bothering me. Actually, it's been my right knee. I thought it was from the 100 miler that I ran a few months ago, but it was actually probably from my shoes because on Monday I ran five miles and my knee was really sore right after. And then so I took Monday and then also Tuesday to stretch and foam roll. But then yesterday, Tuesday, I switched up my shoes because originally I was wearing my Nike Pegasus 35s and they definitely have like 1500 miles on them, probably more because I wore them as my day-to-day -day shoe. And so I used my new Terra Kigers yesterday and I was gonna run three or four, but then I only ended up running one because my leg hurt. So I just walked three or four more miles. And then today went out, I was only aiming for three or four, but then ran and I was like, oh, it feels pretty good, it feels pretty good. And just kept going, kept going, and then ended up running 10. So lesson learned, if you're, any part of your lower extremities hurting, knee problems, even like hip or, or like inner leg problems, probably change up your shoes. As far as running, should have taken my own advice when people ask me, oh, I have shin splints, I have this and that. The first thing I recommend is to switch up your shoes. But I honestly thought it was from the 100 miler, so that's why I was really reluctant on switching it. And plus, I've worn the Terra Kigers before, but the first couple times I wore them, it was really constrict constricting on my feet. So. I thought that they were gonna be constricting, but I decided to put them on, and from those two times that I wore it before, it actually loosened the shoe up a lot. So now I know, and a lesson learned, I'll definitely keep stretching. It's midday right now, and my leg, it's a lot better than it was yesterday and the day before. So as of today, I am one step closer to getting my real estate license. I just passed the real estate law exam, at least the online portion of it, because I've been taking the at-home curriculum through Keller Williams, been doing it for about nine months or so. And I actually have to take three courses, the law, which is one of them, the principles, and the practice. I've been through all three curriculums as far as the lessons, but now I just have to take the test. So I just passed the law test. I've actually already passed the principles test and then now I just have one more test the practice test and then I'll be able to officially take the real estate exam I'm excited guess whose birthday it is this guy waffles big waffs waffs butt happy birthday buddy and then it is also Olive's birthday we actually just combined their birthdays we received waffles from my brother's friend a year ago on this day and so we just wanted to make it his birthday on this day and we adopted olive a couple months after and adopted her from the shelter but when we asked her when she was born obviously they didn't have an exact date but they said that they were right around the same age so therefore we combined them so happy birthday waffles and olive and you might ask what we are doing today we already took them out for a walk on their harness body harnesses and they had a good time we were out there for like 20 minutes so if you don't if you have an indoor cat get a harness take him or her out on a walk and they might enjoy it who knows but you have to be careful because they might be eating leaves and sticks and bugs and stuff like that so be careful And he still wants to go. Oh! Whoa! There's a mosquito eater. Those are good though. Yeah, but not in the house. Right, you're not supposed to kill those. Yeah, but don't. Because those eat mosquitoes. Yeah, but don't. That's way too big to get in there. Yeah, but if you open so the door. So people, don't kill those. People think 
those are mosquitoes, but it, that's actually not a mosquito. It's a mosquito eater. So they eat the things that bite you and make you itch. Say hi to the camera, bud. What are you looking at? So Waffles' is other favorite sleeping spot. Anytime I'm sitting on the couch midday, he knows that he can just climb up on me and cuddle with me and go to sleep. Midday nap. Happy birthday, Olive. All leaves, all leaves. She likes to sit on this top of her cat tree. And she also likes to sit here. Can't see it, it's a porch thing. And she's stretching. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday. I'm gonna give you a treat tonight. Let me find olives. I mean not olives, waffles. Waffies. Waffies. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, do you know it's your birthday? Happy birthday. I'm gonna give you a treat later, but he's already kind of big. Kind of big. Shell's working on the back. Happy birthday to my cats. Thanks for watching this video. Getting to know me, getting to know more about my cats. If you want to follow my journey, please subscribe. Like the video if you do. Other than that, see y'all soon.